think there absolutely is a vaccine or COVID uh, stock fatigue that is starting off the year. I don't think you could have any had any more of a phenomena in 2021. And you take a look at the stock performances of Moderna, which had how many, two or three re-ratings, reached a market cap of nearly $200 billion. And I think a lot of that uh, money flow is coming out of it as we realize, okay, we're going to live with the pandemic. We are going to have vaccines. There is going to be revenues. But the overall, I think, sensationalism uh, with some of these stocks, I think, is wearing off. And do you think the market's correct in that assessment that, you know, it looks as if this is going to have a little bit less, you know, power to these trends? It's not going to be, you know, constant new iterations of, uh, of mass vaccinations? I think that's right. And I think that while we will have, uh, in my opinion, an endemic uh, period going forward, and I do think there will be uh, sustained vaccination for proportions of populations each year, I think the key is that the market is looking to value and digest a new world where we do have that. And so if there is going to be that play, people are trying to figure out, okay, well, which growth stocks, presumably growth stocks, are going to be the best performers in that new world. Look, uh, I think you and I both know Wall Street likes to buy growth. Uh, you look at Moderna, the question is, is it growing? You look at the valuation at $100 billion, that implies $20 billion a year and a five multiple implies $20 billion a year into the future. So I think to get Moderna back up, we need to move beyond uh, COVID. I think for many of these stocks, they need to move beyond COVID and have another story. Certainly for the Pfizer, as you mentioned, they now have the treatments. So they're moving to the treatment phase of new revenue growth. And for Moderna, I think they also need to move beyond uh, the COVID and we need to take some time to get there.